On April 20th, 1961, newly elected President John F. Kennedy asked Vice President Lyndon Johnson what it would take to beat the Russians in the space race. They had repeatedly outpaced America every step along the way. Eight days earlier, the Soviets had put the first man in space. Competing with Russia on all the logical next steps in space exploration would not move the needle. America had to commit to landing a man on the moon. The scientists estimated that it would require a 10x increase in rocket technology to get to the moon. It had to double the strength of its current infrastructure, and it had to invent entirely new technologies and capabilities that had never been thought of as possible. Less than a month later, in an address to a joint session of Congress, Kennedy set a national goal of landing a man on the moon before the end of the decade. 10X in 10 years was an audacious, impossible goal. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Ignition sequence start. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Years later, the U.S. landed on the moon. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. To get the required, the efforts of almost 400,000 people working together towards this common vision, and the Russians never made it. We are also in a race, but this is a race to save as many people as possible. Surely the opening vistas of space promise high costs and hardships, as well as high reward. We also have an enemy, but our enemy is not flesh and blood. It is instead the spiritual forces of evil that rule this world. And our job is to fight in this fight to work with God so that life happens on earth as it is in heaven. Most measures, however, say we're not winning. Depression, suicide, divorce, loneliness, and mental health issues are all rising. The world is controlled by those dark forces, and it is consuming our neighborhoods. To win the race against the enemy and his plans for our world, we also require a 10x increase in the next 10 years. While 50,000 people connected crossroads won't move the needle, 500,000 people can begin to flip the stats and see real change. To achieve 10X in 10 years is a moonshot. It requires Crossroads to rethink all of our systems and processes to build for that goal. In the book of Isaiah, God tells his people to do two things. They are to strengthen their foundation and they are to expand their territory so they can heal the world. To fulfill this command, Crossroads must strengthen our current ministry to serve as a foundation on which to pursue a 10x moonshot. And we must attempt things that have never been done before in ministry, but have the potential to expand wide and get us to our moon. The work God has given Crossroads to bring real change and hope for life on earth as it is in heaven. This will be hard, but we do hard things. This will take patience, but we can hit the same nail time and time again. This will require bold thinking, 
we've already earned the right to win in high potential areas. This requires a giant push to get going. That starts now.